A quality pot and pan has the ability to heat uniformly throughout so that food cooks evenly. Copper is by far the best heat conductor, but copper cookware is very expensive. Aluminum conducts heat well but isn't durable, so many cooks use stainless steel cookware that contains aluminum. This high-end line of stainless steel cookware has an aluminum core running throughout. Production begins with two stainless steel sheets. Using a spot welder, workers tack them together along one side. Then they lay the connected sheets onto an assembly fixture. A vacuum arm pulls up the top sheet and they insert an aluminum sheet in between. This metal sandwich goes onto a conveyor that takes it on a 10 minute ride through an oven. The heat, 700 degrees Fahrenheit, softens the metal. This preps them for the bonding and shaping operations to come. From the oven, the metals enter the first mill which uses electric current to heat and bond the three layers into one. Now it's into a second rolling mill. This one strengthens the bond. That steam you see is the water-soluble lubricant evaporating against the hot metal. Now the bonded metal travels to a second oven for reheating. This further strengthens the bond. From there, it's into a 110-ton press. It forces down a die to cut out the starting shape of the piece of cookware they're making. They clean off any debris from the metal cutting. Even a minute shard getting under the press would damage the metal. Now the disc goes into a 220-ton press containing a forming tool, which forms it into the shape of a 10-inch frying pan. A sheet of paper between each shaped pan prevents scratches. They install different forming tools on the press to produce different types of cookware, from saucepans to stockpots. Now that they've formed the shape, they need to do some refining. This trimming press first removes excess metal around the perimeter. Next comes what they call edge conditioning. The perimeter trimming left the rim rough, so now they smooth it by running it against a cutter at high speed. The next stop is a polishing machine with an abrasive belt. The pan's interior surface rotates at high speed against the belt. The result is a high gloss finish. Now for the exterior. The pans go onto a rotary buffer. Each pan runs against 10 progressively finer buffing wheels. By the end of the circuit, the stainless steel has a mirror finish. It's time to get a handle on this cookware. First, they use a press that's essentially an industrial strength hole puncher. It applies nearly 20 tons of force to perforate the metal. Workers position rivets in the holes, then use another press to squeeze them flat. As the rivets spread outward, they secure the handle firmly in place. This company's top-of-the-line stainless steel cookware contains a copper core within the aluminum core a structure designed specifically for induction cooking, the latest culinary technology. A thin cut along the perimeter exposes the copper within, giving this high-end cookware a signature look. After all, performance and style are everything in an industry where the competition's always heating up.